Courtney DuPont coming to you from Hunter and Central for a girls soccer matchup between the Hunter and Central Red Devils and the Ridge Red Devils. Now both of these teams have Division One talent, but today it was Hunter and Central who had the edge and Rutgers commit Emily Mason played a big part in the victory that kept her team undefeated thus far in the season. Here we go with the highlights. In the first half, Ridge would put a ton of pressure on the central goal. Ava Gillikin in the net would end up having 10 saves today, but over half of them had to be in the first 20 minutes of this one. Gillikin, though, was a brick wall, and some help from Mason didn't hurt either. Nothing was getting by those girls. Then you see here our first goal would be scored by Central's Karina Zulo. We'd hear some complaints from the stands, people thinking she was offsides, but no call would be made, and Zulo gets Hunter and Central a 1-0 lead as we head into the second half. With 27 minutes left to play in the game, here comes goal number two. Zulo with the perfect center, it's Mason who gets a touch, and that would get Central a 2-0 lead, and they would run with it from there. Central's third goal features Zulo again, just flying past all the coverage, and there's Mason, the first one to come and celebrate with her. After that, with 22 on the clock, the Devils get their fourth and final goal off the head, Senior Maddie LaMarca all fired up about that one. Central takes the 4-0 win over Ridge, giving them a 4-0-1 record now. In postgame, I caught up with Zulo and Mason. Um, we were expecting a lot of like balls over the top, and we were expecting to have to cover for each other a lot. I think we did very well. I think we executed everything that we needed to, and we worked together extremely well. Someone played the ball to Karina and she played it across and <laughs> um, I just finished and got a touch on it. It feels amazing like stay together as a team and make bonds that will last forever. I think we were doing pretty good. We were like interchanging lines and lanes and I think we worked really well together up top. I saw that uh, Ashley had the ball and I was thinking she was going to play it over the top so I just started running. I'm not sure if I was offside but they didn't call it so and I guess I just took a couple touches and finished it off. We just need to keep working on our game. Not only was this 100 and Central's fourth win of the season but it was also their fourth shutout and next up they'll be taking on Shore Regional. From 100 and Central High School, I'm Courtney DuPont, you're watching Jersey Sports Zone. Want to see highlights and features from your favorite school? Jersey Sports Zone is entirely supported by our great sponsors. Email marketing at jerseysportszone.com to get your business in front of our loyal audience and highlights from your hometown. 